The beef industry is, is huge for the state of Washington. And my great-grandfather, my grandfather, and my father have all ran cattle here, and hopefully my children will. Northwest pride, it's, it's kind of contagious. The Northwest is known around the country and even around the globe for having a, you know, beautiful scenery and, and pristine mountains, and the cattle industry fits into that very well. It's got to be a pretty nice place to be a cow, I would think. And to know producers are doing the best to ensure a, a safe product that, that goes all the way from the feedlot to the packing plant to the grocery store to your home. And it is just incredible. And we certainly are small, but uh, we're significant and we produce a high quality product. We feed people. And I can't think of probably a more noble career than that. And with that comes an awful lot of responsibility. This is Charlton Farms. Uh, we're a family of five, Mark, Michael, Amber, Jonathan, and I. Well, everything's homegrown here, and then some of them get sent off to the feedlot. We ready? I believe in America as our community, and I believe that every American should have the right to be able to afford a healthy dinner, and there's nothing like the protein in beef and just the schematics of agriculture in Washington State, from the potato processing to apple industry, all of that can be utilized through the cattle. Jonathan, get that cow. Just nice and easy. By ensuring that they have low stress, good nutrition, it's just going to ensure that you'll get a healthy calf at the end of the year, and the cycle just continues over and over again. Being in touch with the land and the history of it, you know, the generations of our family that have ran cattle in this same area. The time on horseback and, you know, working the cows. And, yeah, it really is a way of life. I'm Pete Guillemino. I'm a cow-calf operator. We also have a guest ranch. People really love working cows, moving cows with us. They enjoy the fly fishing, the horseback riding. People love it. Where we really spend most of our time is with the cattle, on horseback and out moving them, checking them, salting them, making sure that they're in fresh grass. And that's truly where our love is and where, why we continue to ranch. Get it rolling. You know, we're kind of a long ways from everywhere up here, and I use the plains a lot for spotting cattle, checking on cows, and you can go out and cover so much country. And without the airplane, then you spend hours, sometimes days, just following tracks try to find out where those little pockets of cattle are. And sometimes they use it for a toy. <laughs> we calve predominantly in the spring. Those calves are then turned out onto the range with their mothers. And we round up again in October, November, and we ship the calves then. So they leave the ranch here and they're gone to a feedlot. From the feedlot, they spend usually 150 days plus there, depending on their gain. I'm David Sechrist. I'm the general manager of LRO Cattle Feeders. It's our operation here in Moses Lake, and we feed 62,000 head of cattle here. Nutrition is really, really key to being able to make these cattle grow, to stay healthy, and to grow and produce the kind of product that people are wanting to consume. This is high moisture corn, and uh, we buy all this locally from local farmers. We will balance uh, the ration down to parts per million for copper, zinc, selenium, a lot of the trace minerals and vitamins. There's decades of research in the animal science field that have gone into knowing exactly what it takes to keep these animals as healthy as we possibly can and to have them grow at their optimal rate. And the bottom line of that is what's best for the animal is what best helps them grow and, and be comfortable here and, and that also produces the highest quality wholesome product for our consumer. Our focus is the Northwest, knowing from a livestock supply, 
uh, where our business is, but also where our customer base is. And we export to 14 different countries worldwide, as well as we export a lot of our, our other products, leather and stuff like that. So we cover the globe. It's more than just a packing plant with 800 employees. We feed people and have a lot of pride in what we do. And we have advanced well beyond regulatory requirements, and we will continue to do so. We employ the latest technologies to make our food as safe as we possibly can. And the barometer that we use, and the one that I use personally, is what I feed it to my family. I have three young children, and I buy all my meat from here. It's about doing the right thing. I just hope that I can give you the freshest beef steak possible and for you to be able to put it in front of your daughter and for her to know what that really tastes like. We've rightfully earned and deserve throughout the world as having probably the highest quality and the safest beef there is worldwide. I don't think anybody can really argue that. I have full confidence in our entire system and our facility here and here in Washington. It provides good nutrition for my family. And I think our Washington beef is every bit as good. Stack up to any, any taste test anywhere. Probably the real testimony to that is that we feed our beef to our children and our guests. My sincere hope is that we'll still be ranchers and our children will be able to be ranchers. It's something to be proud of here in the state and something that, uh, you know, I think makes us a little bit better than everybody else. If you're serving dinner for some people you really want to impress, and you know where you need to go.